Oh, we, we, we understand the product. We yeah. understand what it does for people. We just don't know the economics of it 10 years from now. That, I mean, you can understand all kinds. You can understand steel. I mean, you can understand home building. But if you look at a home builder uh, and, and try and think where it's going to be in five or 10 years, the economics of it, that's another question. I mean, it's not a question of understanding the product they turn out, uh, the means they use to distribute it, all of those sort of things. It's the predictability of the economics of the situation 10 years out, and that, that's our problem. Every business I look at, I think about its economics. It, it, you know, it's built into me, it's built into Charlie. So it isn't like when some, if, if, if I'm with Andy Grove, or actually I knew Bob Noyce back at Grinnell in 1968 and 69 when they were starting Intel. I, when he talked to me about starting Intel or anybody talks to me about a business, I think about its economics. I, I, I'll think about the economics of UNO, you know, if, if we talk for three or four minutes. Uh, but I, so it, it isn't that we shut off the valve, it's just that we don't, we don't get any place. We, we don't know what, what it'll look like. It, and it's, you know, you, there are a lot of things in life that uh, uh, you can, they're just beyond comprehension for many of us. But yeah, I would say that, and incidentally, my friend Bill Gates would say the same thing. And, and, and actually, Bob Noyce would have, uh, Bob died some years ago, but, or Andy Grove, I, they, they would say the same thing. I've taken long walks with Andy, and, and they, they would not want to put down on paper their predictions about where 10 companies you would choose in the tech field would be in 10 years in terms of their economics. They would say that's too hard.